In this video, I wanna show you three different ways that you can use tooltips with your Power BI report. We're gonna go through all of them step by step so you can follow along as well if you want. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we're focused on teaching beginners the wonderful world that is Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So let's go through this demo that I prepared for you today. So we have a very simple data model here with some information about orders. We have um, different orders here of different groceries, how many you ordered, uh, how many, how much it's for, um, and the cost of the sale. We also have created a couple of things here. So we have some data in our calculations measure table, which just gets the costs uh, and it measures the, the profit based on the sales and the costs and the calculation for the sales, which is the unit price multiplied by quantity. So here we have a very simple bar chart that show sales over time. So it shows from March 2020 to March 2021. So when we click on our visual, the first thing that you can add is the tool tips here. So when we hover over, you'll see that you have information about the sales because that's what we have in the value section of this bar chart. Now, if you want to add more details on this tool tip, so for example, you want to add the, you see on the calculations, we have month on month, uh, quarter on quarter, year on year percentage information that you want to add but you don't want to add it on the chart itself so that it's not too cluttered you want to add it in tooltip instead you can firstly add it in the tooltip uh, data field so let's add these and now when you hover over any of these bar charts you'll see information about those um, uh, different charts and what their in what their data is. The second way that you can add a tooltip is by creating a report page tooltip. Now, in this demo that I've created, I already prepared one, so it's um, it's this one, it's pretty easy to do. So you just need to create a new page. Um, all it has is just some information about the sales and the different data that we have already we were showing earlier. Uh, on the page itself, if you go to format, um, we had to just make sure that the tooltip toggle is on to kind of mark this page as a tooltip. So this page is for tooltip only. And we also change the information, uh, the page size so that it's not so we control what the size is. So you can see everything is oversized because um, it's a tooltip size. It's quite a tiny, tiny um, pixels. So how you would use this? So you would go to the visual that we've created. So you would go to format and then you'd see here you have the tooltip uh, on. You just have to make sure that's on and make sure this is on report page, not default. Now on the page here, if you've selected the, uh, the, the page that you created as a tooltip, you should see it here. So it's the one called tooltip. So now what happens if you hover over any of your charts here, you'll see that you will get a preview of that report page that you created. The third way that you can add a tooltip is by adding a tooltip on the visual header itself. Let me show you how that works. So if we go back to the page here again, um, I've already created another report page for the visual header tooltip. So we had to just do the same thing, except that this one, um, you just need to bear in mind that it's for su a summary of your visual. So it's not individual. Um, information in your page is not individual charts but it's the chart so what I've done is I've just created a smart narrative uh, tooltip here uh, which is generated uh, based on our orders table and if you don't know how to create smart narratives and you would like to start creating smart narratives I created a different video for that so check it out if you haven't yet so again the same as before we just had to make sure that the uh, toggle tooltip is on um, and the size is a tooltip size now if we go back to uh, back to our page we click our visual we want to go to the format again under visual header let me just expand this to make it a bit easier to see. 
If you scroll down, you will see a visual header tooltip icon. If you toggle that on, you will see another drop down available for you. And here you will select the new visual header tooltip. So now you'll see in your header, you will have a question mark. Uh, available for you so when you hover over that it will give you the report uh, visual header tooltip that we created earlier so those were the three different ways you can create tooltips in power bi i hope this video was helpful for you if this video was useful for you and you like this type of content leave a like in this video it's the best way to let me know that you enjoy this type of content get in touch using the social media links that i included in the description box below and thank you so much for watching guys see you again on the next one